In this video, I share the story of a flooded desert. A trip I took to capture dramatic landscape photography of the Namib Desert. Hi everyone, I am on the dunes in Sossesvlei, near Deadvlei. Well, technically not in Sossesvlei, this is the Nam of Nakluf Park. Sossesvlei is the pan full of water at the moment, actually at the end of the park or end of the road. I'm on a random dune here, close to June 45, busy shooting sunset. It's been raining most of the day, the rain stopped now, so we've come out for sunset. We've been in the park for two nights so far, this is our third night, we've got another two nights to go. I struggled to get started on the trip. Uh, the first morning, it was a bit of a dud for me. It's taken me a day or two to get going. So he joined me on the, <laughs> on the third sunset of the trip, um, but I'm hoping the rest of the trip is successful and we get some uh, awesome photography done. As you can see, this light is beautiful, contrasting against that dark sky there. And this, these clouds should all light up at sunset. So let's hope and hold thumbs that what I predict happens. So you can see the composition of big foreground with the dunes in the back. I'm doing a focus stack here. So what that means is I'm focusing on the very immediate foreground and then it's shifting focus all the way to the back so I can capture focus throughout. I'm quite close to the foreground, probably less than a meter. So it's important to, to make sure you get sharp front to back on these wide angle shots. I don't want this immediate foreground to be sharp and then the background to be out of focus. I'm also checking the histogram because these highlights at the top there are quite bright. So I'm just checking the histogram making sure they don't blow out, which they shouldn't be. So then on this Nikon Z6 I've set up my custom menu, my menu to have focus shift shooting. I'm just going to use that to shoot the focus stack for me. And then it should fire off, there we go, five shots. So it's adjusted the focus to go from front to back to allow for a fully sharp image. In Photoshop, I'll blend those all together and everything will be sharp. I'm using f11 on the 14 to 30 f4 Nikon Z lens, just to get a little bit more depth of field, um, just so the focus stack isn't so big. I can probably get away with not focus stacking and letting the immediate foreground go slightly soft but I prefer just to do the focus stack anyway and then later on the computer I can inspect the files closer and uh, see, you know, see how the focusing did. As you can see the light's kicking off behind me. I just hope there's enough ambient light for this foreground so let's, uh, <laughs> let's hold thumbs and see what happens. More often than not a sunrise or sunset produces nothing compelling. Although I like the colors and conditions in this image, the shot falls short in a few key areas. The foreground lacks punch, it lacks the light I needed. The sunset colors were mainly isolated in the middle portion of the sky, and overall the image feels too flat. I really like the composition, but what this image does do for me is reminds me of what that evening was like. Standing out on my own, on top of that dune, experiencing that wilderness was truly special. I'm just on my way back to the car and I'm going to stop at a dead tree quickly for a quick shot. Got a couple of minutes to spare. It's a nice tree just in the open here with the dunes in the background. Nice rain falling 
I think it's rain. It looks awesome, so I'm just going to stop quickly for a shot. So this is what I'm shooting, just the, the tree on the, the right hand side. All those clouds there. Simple shot. Focus on the tree, F11. Six second exposure. The trip as a whole produced some amazing experiences, a lot of which I managed to photograph. I didn't capture as much video as I would have liked on the trip. The conditions made that extremely challenging. The dust and the wind was tough to deal with. But I did produce some work I'm quite proud of, and to photograph water in the desert was a dream come true. It's difficult to describe to someone how unreal it is seeing massive dunes reflecting in water. Namibia is a great place for wide open scenes, but also for the more intimate of photography too. There are countless photos to take right at your feet. Namibia is truly special. The Namib desert is harsh, but life always finds a way. I'm walking north from the from the car towards the big sand dunes. I found some nice trees and uh, some nice low, low, low sand dunes. I'm just heading there now. The horizon to the west looks a bit, a little bit cloudy, a little bit too cloudy for my liking. But I think we'll get some light. We've still got good light now. We're probably going to get some rain later. Rain in the desert is incredible. We had some rain a couple of days ago and just seeing that rain fall on the desert, on the sand dunes, making the sand dunes all wet, it's spectacular. Being here in the, with the rain, it's a real privilege. I continued searching for a decent composition amongst the low dunes and trees in the area, but it wasn't until I simplified my search that I found something I loved. The composition is simple, the leading lines striking, but the contrasts between the sunlit dunes and dark stormy skies helped the composition excel. I captured my favorite photograph of the entire trip. Finding a composition in this <laughs> in this landscape is actually quite tricky. There's so much here, and it's just a matter of trying to find something that works with the conditions that we have. There's a lot of clear sky, but a lot of cloud. And I'm just trying to figure out what, what I'm gonna do with all of this. It's, uh, yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of amazing trees a lot of amazing little sand dunes the conditions are are good it's very windy but yeah it's just amazing absolutely amazing here well tonight has really turned into a frantic search for a shot the sunsets just happened behind me there and yeah, I've been scrambling around. I really haven't found anything and I've resorted to a simple tree shot, as you can see behind me. I'm just shooting the last bit of light now. Shooting at F11, 24 millimeters, one sixth of a second at ISO 100. I think I might take it up to one fifth of a second. Two second delay.
so that was the sunset. Sun's gone down now. I'm kind of happy with that image. It's not the greatest composition in the world. It seems like a bit of an obvious photo to take, but I guess rather take something than nothing, even when the conditions are exceptional like that. The trip to Namibia was incredible. Witnessing the desert covered in water and experiencing heavy rains over the arid wilderness will be a memory never to be forgotten. I managed to walk away with three portfolio grade images. One, a simple abstract shot of some cracked mud catching the early dawn light. The second, a close view of sand dunes leading up to the bigger dunes under a dramatic stormy sky. And the third, an image of a beautiful dune wet from heavy rains as massive storm clouds tower behind and sunlight beams in from the west. Thank you so much for watching and sharing in the story and photographs from an amazing trip.